person talking about love, nine brother is the preacher. And it seems nobody's interested in learning but the teacher. This is Adrian with Chalk Talk. We're going to do a lift rescue with Josh here. He's super excited. He got his first slingshot in the mail today. And uh, so we're going to give it a try. He's still flexing. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> now, one of the things you need to understand with Josh is that uh, he's not a competitive power lifter. He lifts for, um, you know, his own well-being, chasing goals, uh, just overall fitness. He's trying to get strong. To keep you guys from making fun of me too much, being the bad guy on the bottom. Well, yeah, that's why you cut the hair off. Right. Yeah. Or, or not running a lot of meat, Being the smallest guy in the group, so he's working on just trying to get a little bit bigger. One of the things I suggested is that he gets a slingshot. We chose the black one. It's a little bit thicker. Um, no point intended. Um, but it's going to help out a little bit more when he's dealing with overloading. <laughs> So today we're going to have Josh just kind of go through it on his own without helping him at all, watch him screw up, laugh at it a little bit, and then we'll go through and critique it for him, let him do it again the correct way, make it so that he's got it dialed in. We're going to start with 135 pounds, which is, um, for him, it's probably about 70% of his max, so we're not dealing with sub-max weight yet, since this is the first time that he's uh, using the slingshot of his own, uh, I want him to you know, go a little bit conservative. And actually get used to just a slight shot and stuff. And it's going to be great even though you're just trying to just get healthy. The help with that overload training is going to help you get a little bit stronger and have more weight. So you don't make fun of me for how much weight you So that doesn't go on your legs, it goes on your arms. So why don't you try to figure out how to put it on and let's get going. <laughs> I'd fix a few things. Um, first off, what I'd do is I'd bring the slingshot down just a little bit further, more over your elbows. Um, this is going to give it a little bit more spring right off the bottom. We want to save your shoulders, um, especially the way that you're benching. Your elbows are flared out quite a bit. Um, so coming down that way is going to put a lot of tension on your shoulders. So having it down a little bit lower is going to help take the weight off your chest um, to relieve your shoulders a little bit. The other thing that you're doing is uh, when you're bringing the bar down is you're bending your arm this way. You want to try to keep the bar in line with your forearm and bring it straight down. As you're coming up, that'd be the time to push your elbows out. It's okay to be flared um, at that point. That from the top, you kept the bar, well the bar kept rolling a lot in your hands and you were bringing it the forearm back here, but it was also your wrists were starting to cave a little bit. So you started to get a little bit of this, but you keep those wrists tight in there. So you keep, keep bringing it down like this, as, which is also forcing you to bring that forearm back because the weight's pulling you back like this. Right. Why don't you try it again with the uh, slingshot on a little bit lower? A little better. Yeah. That's even worse. There you go, that's a little bit better. It's the mustache, I think. Yeah, that Patrick Swayze shirt. Well, Patrick Swayze shirt, man. Should make it oh, right. Definitely noticed in the elbows coming down. It was, I felt like a nice little decrease coming in kind of quick. I was able to adjust with it, keeping my elbows in. And that spring coming off was nice. I felt the wrist roll back. That spring kind of allowed me on some of it at the end to start to get the, the movement right to where it should be. Yeah. Definitely noticed that coming up. How do you like the slingshot? Dude, this is great, man. Yeah. I bet I could do a lot more weight than what I just did. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Usually I'd be a little nervous, but. <laughs> One of the things I'd like to work on, you know, for you would be your setup. I think, um, you know, working on your elbow positioning, working on keeping the ball in line with your forearm are all good cues, but then also setting up correctly, making sure your shoulder blades are nice and tucked back. You were super flat, uh, which is fine, but sometimes then when you're bringing the bar down, um, you're compromising your shoulder by bringing the bar too far down. So we'd work on um, your setup, get your shoulder blades nice and tucked back to have a nice and solid base for you to bench off with. One of the ways I'd incorporate this into your programming is probably do it bi-weekly. Uh, and so after you got done benching, you would, um, if I were to program for you or if I were to help you out, we would do basically doubles, two reps working up to a relatively heavy weight. 
Then every other week we throw on the slingshot after we're done doing that, and we do a few overload sets, probably like 125% or so of your max, still working with doubles. Um, the idea is just to get comfortable with the heavier weight. Whether you're going to compete or not, you're always going to want to bench more. You know, sure. people walk around, they don't say, "Hey, Jeff, what do you, what do you yoke?" You know, they say, "What do you bench?" That's right. what everybody wants to know. You want to increase your bench, so when you're in the grocery store and somebody says, "What do you bench?" You go, "Well, I bench 315." Um, you know, so those are the types of things we really work on. And then you flex a little bit. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I bench 315. So. There's, you know, obviously a few different slingshots. You can use that for a bunch of different stuff. Um, on my lighter days, uh, you could knock out, you know, um, push-ups to failure. So that's what you could do with that. Like what I was just doing earlier. Um, I, I'll sometimes just to get that tricep overload for my training. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just put on a slingshot and go up a close grip with a lighter weight. I just try to bang out as many reps as I can, as fast as I can, with that close grip bench press with a you know decent amount of weight. Just trying to overload my triceps and really get that tricep working. Still getting a little bit of the shoulder work, a little bit of the you know elbow increasing the tendons in my elbows and all that joint work and stuff, building all that up. But I'm really focusing on overloading my triceps. Still get a little bit of chest pump. Still get up, you know, still work all the muscles the benches are doing. But I'm mainly focusing on those triceps doing that close grip. And the slingshot just allows me to be able to do more reps in a safer condition. If I started doing max reps, close grip bench press, you start overloading my my shoulders, and that deltoid joint just going to feel burnt out, beat up. With that slingshot, I can it's a little bit uh, off that little bit of protection to help me stay in that proper form. So as I get fatigued, I'm not going to do a miss all of a sudden or flare it out or whatever. I stay in that proper positioning and just really be able to overload those triceps. It's one of the accessory movements I'll use as a strong man to just help with my pressing. That's one thing I'm excited about with this because unlike you guys, I don't live in a gym. I'm not able to get there all the time. So the fact that I can go home and be able to do the push-ups with this because I have the issue of doing push-ups standing with the bench. My elbows flare out, I start getting the wiggles, and I can't do a lot. So like, this is gonna help me be able to do that stuff at home while I'm watching the kid and watching prices, right? Well, it keeps you in that proper form, too. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the big things also that's the benefit of the slingshot is it's forcing you to stay in that proper technique, that proper form. You can't really flare your elbows. Oh, man, yeah, really I noticed it when you yeah. guys had me pull it down. Like, I couldn't, even just sitting up, I couldn't get them out to where what I felt was. So you know, it's gonna develop that muscle memory doing push-ups and using it for doing the lighter bench and using it for doing that stuff. It's going to help develop that muscle memory of staying in that correct form because it's hard to get in the proper form with this stuff. One of the other things you can do is uh, put the sink shot over back behind your head and now get a little bit lower. Okay, now pull your arms down. Do a couple reps of that. Oh, jeez. You look really stupid doing that. <laughs> <laughs> is that really all? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think I'm getting professional <laughs> advice here. What okay. muscle does that work? What do you feel working? <laughs> There's our lift rescue for you. <laughs>